Hey, welcome to episode six of High Probability Opening Traps. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a trap that you can play as black against the Queen's Gambit as early as a move four that over 22,000 players have fallen for. Let's jump right in. So if you're playing as black against the Queen's Gambit, d4, d5, c4, you can play this move e5. It's a very interesting move called the Albin Counter Gambit. It's a counter gambit because white starts the game off by gambiting their own c4 pawn, and now you're responding with a gambit of your own by playing e5. And most players really at all levels are gonna capture this pawn on e5. Now the whole point behind playing this gambit is so that we can play the move d4. Now this actually is setting a very interesting trap. So the idea behind moving this pawn to d4 is mainly that it takes away the c3 square from white's knight. This is a very common move that Queen's Gambit players like to play. They like to bring their knight to c3 to gain control of these important center squares. Now most players who are playing white in this position are going to get very uncomfortable that this pawn is so far advanced and preventing their knight from coming to where they would like to, to move it to. So it's very reasonable to expect white to try to undermine this pawn somehow. And the most logical move that comes to mind is e3. But believe it or not, by playing e3, they've actually fallen into your trap. So what you can do is play bishop to b4, check. A blocking with the knight to c3 is not an option because your pawn will take it. So white has to either play knight to d2 or bishop to d2. And most players are going to choose bishop to d2 because this bishop is stuck behind the pawn chain anyway. If they can trade it off for your bishop, they're going to have a great position. So bishop d2 is most commonly played. The move you can play is d takes e3. Now you're threatening to simply take the bishop with your pawn. So let's look at the options that white has. Bishop takes pawn is not an option because the bishop's pinned to the king. They can capture with the pawn. The problem with this move is that it opens up the king along the h4 e1 diagonal and you can play queen to h4 check. And after they block, you have this really nice move queen to e4, putting pressure on the rook and also threatening this e3 pawn. So after they save the rook by blocking with the knight, you can simply capture on e3 because remember, this bishop is pinned and cannot take your queen. And at this point, white's position is not looking good. So we just saw what happens if they capture this pawn. Another move that comes to mind is that what if they just simply take your bishop that's undefended? Well, now we can do a little trick by capturing this pawn on f2. And the idea is that if white takes it with this king, the queen is undefended and we simply won the queen for free. But you might say, well, what if they don't capture the pawn, but they simply move their king up to e2? Now, this is why this trap is so dangerous for white. Let's look at this position carefully. One thing that we could do is capture the queen, and after white recaptures, we could take this knight and get a queen ourselves, like that. And then after white recaptures, white has three pieces, we have three pieces, we each have six pawns, but white has a slight lead in development. But if we go back to this position right here, we actually have a remarkable move that we can do that puts us on top. And the move is to capture the knight, but not to get a queen, to capture the knight and get a knight so that we put the king in check. By getting the knight, we force him to take it first. And that allows us to now play bishop to g4, skewering the king and the queen. Now white has to move the king and then his queen is gone. Goodbye, my friend. So that is the key move in this trap. You capture and get a knight instead of a queen. Right there you have it, super clever trap. You can play as black against the Queen's Gambit. Make sure to stay tuned for episode seven, which is coming out shortly. As always, thanks for watching and take care.